Hello. Alright, so welcome back to my channel. I game sometimes. And I wanted to do a follow up video basically regarding the whole neighbor situation. And then I wanted to give you guys kind of like a uplifting advice thing if you're dealing with the same situation. Um. So the situation hasn't gotten any better. Like it started off as like we had a week of silence and then they started again. But they gave us that week mostly because it was Thanksgiving week. And even then I didn't care because I don't necessarily celebrate Thanksgiving personally like that. Um, so the situation is basically... Um, you know when you kind of just like want to have a day of like maybe putting on YouTube and putting on like a fireplace or something on your TV and just listen to that or listen to some white noise or something and just want to relax in complete silence. So of course you can't um, block out like cars going by, playing music. That's just going to happen. But they're going by you get what I'm saying like that situation you can't control that however when you're dealing with neighbors and mind you I was actually watching some videos uh earlier regarding like noisy neighbors and it always seems to come down to it's always neighbors that blast music and I don't know what's wrong with these type of people like they constantly blast music and I don't know if they're trying to hide something or I just don't get it because there's not that much listening to music in the world to me personally because it doesn't mean like not mean but it doesn't make sense especially if you're a person that works all day if you do work all day which i completely doubt if you blast music all day where do you even try to think about what the next person is feeling you know what i mean like so think about it like if you're one of the people that does this do you ever think about the neighbor like do you ever think about how the next person will feel or what they're dealing with or if they're the type that has to work from home or something of that sort like do you think about the fact that they have lives that you know also matter you know like that that they have to actually put priorities first and have to get work done have to focus on the house bills so on and so forth and then you have people like that or if you are that person like what exactly do you get out of okay you got your music but you listen to it all day you know what I mean and to be completely honest with the neighbors that I have they basically listen to the same music or the same songs I basically came to that conclusion because when you really listen to the music it's the same songs every day that they listen to so here I am uh, basically every day recording just in case I need to show it to someone you know of importance if it becomes too much like having that proof is very much important you know what I mean um I've learned that over the years like whenever you're going through any type of situation you should always have proof because a person can be that type of person and be like oh I never did that or it don't even be that bad and they do seem like the type of people to be like it wasn't even that bad meanwhile I have proof of it literally coming through my walls coming through my bedroom and the crazy thing is these type of people don't see anything wrong in what they do so even if you <clears throat> Even if you approach them about it, it seems like, and this is just me looking at these videos, like a lot of videos was people arguing back and forth with these neighbors, just 
like this one video this lady literally nicely asked her neighbor like hey can you just like turn down the music or just give us a break you know for a few days and instead of understanding or being like I'm so sorry they started arguing with her and the video is about 18 minutes long and the crazy thing is this happens way too often and I never understand this like this happens way too often everywhere and I seen someone in the comments say this happens often in the west coast and I'm like um I guess I have no place of making a comment on that but I guess for some people most people see it as this happens a lot in the west coast um which you know they're uh this is what they think and I feel like it happens everywhere of course like everyone deals with a person like this unfortunately we were dealt that hand unfortunately and it's almost like I, I try to get a full understanding like I always wanted to sit down with a person like that I can't I can't sit down with them they're not those type of people where you can have a conversation um I always wanted to sit down with a person like that and be like what exactly like why do you do it every day you know like there is a thing of you know you're in love with music like I know me I love music but I don't blast it like the one time I actually played music was once last week and even then it was just like a five below speaker <laughs> so it wasn't even loud in the first place um but it's just the fact that like I could do that and it won't bother y'all at all like I even made sure I went outside and but I mostly went outside to get a package but you couldn't even hear my music when I went outside and that's what I mean like you can listen to your music put it on a five below speaker put it on JBL your TV your phone your laptop like it's the same it's the same uh effect you get the same effect from it you know what i mean so i know personally what i've been trying to do lately is meditate or try to like block it out you can't really block it out i'm gonna be completely honest with music you can't necessarily block it out because of the thumping and all of that like you could go check out my last video my last video was basically um i have proof of how loud it is and how it sounds and you can actually hear the thumping um so you could go check out my last video or click on the eye uh the eye will basically take you to my last video and you could get a full effect on that one but what i've been doing personally and this is just for people who are dealing with like lousy neighbors like neighbors that legitimately just love to be annoying <laughs> um you know like if you can find a spot in your house and just meditate breathe write journal whatever possible like try to do that like for me personally I do have major anger within me so and I'm never gonna lie about that I have anger in me so sometimes I be wanting to blow up but I don't on them and that's mostly because you could tell how a person is just by how they live and how they live is being loud obnoxious um even today, I thought like somebody was banging on my door, but they just kept slamming their front door. And I'm like, well, damn, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but I'm just so, all I can really say is like the best you can do if you're going through this situation as well is find a spot where you don't hear it at all. Um, the best you can now if you're in an apartment I know how hard that can be you know 
so what you can do is try to contact the landlord if the landlord doesn't do anything contact authorities if the authorities don't do anything i guess you can try to speak to the to the to the tenant but most times they're not they're not going to listen they're not going to understand it is what it is and the last thing that comes on the list is to move and i know you don't want to be driven out of your home like that's the problem um at least when i was on reddit uh a lot of people was basically saying like i don't want to move out like some people just moved into their place or they was there for a while and then the new people came came in or they were there for a while and so was the other neighbor and they were just like you know dealing with it and that's the thing it's like you don't want to be driven out of your home because of situations like this and it's hard it's a hard it's a hard situation to deal with only because like you don't know which route you should or can take you know so again like for my situation all i can do is find a place in the house and just you know uh deal you know but yeah so like I said, for me personally, I just go somewhere else in the house that's quiet. And unfortunately, I don't have too many places of that because their music travels. And what it is, is like, for me personally, growing up, the bathroom was always like my safe space. <laughs> like because of my depression and stuff, I always try to like conceal myself somewhere and um the bathroom was always like my space i don't know why like i'll sit in the bathtub and just like read a book or <laughs> feel my phone or i just sit there and close my eyes and just like envision the life that i i want to live or something like that and it was always like that since i was a kid and i can't even do that with this situation where it's like yeah i wish i could just go into the bathroom and just block out but again, like it all depends on them. You know what I mean? Like as loud as it is. If it's super loud, I can't go into the bathroom. I can't even go anywhere else in, in my house really because like I said, it travels. Even like a part of my house that's literally detached from them, you could still hear their music because it's that loud. And I would go in the basement, doesn't work. Like if anything in the basement at least you don't necessarily hear i mean you hear thumping but it's not as bad as when you're upstairs and you hear the lyrics i guess but even then i don't want to hear your music <laughs> but it's just i don't know like it's a really hard situation to deal with especially if you have zero tolerance <laughs> and that's the thing with me like i have zero tolerance like i cannot deal with noise like noise can become very overbearing for me i don't know why like i don't know like i've never been a noise person <laughs> like i can listen to dashy and just any loud youtuber all day not all day i'm gonna be honest not all day eventually i have to turn them off <laughs> but i could listen to them but that's mostly because it's like comedy like i can laugh you know i'm i'm enjoying it okay and with that you know it's it's all enjoyment entertainment you know but if i'm listening to just thumping it can become tedious you know like thumping is tedious like it, it's almost like someone's constantly banging on your door like over and over and over and over like imagine that imagine if someone you don't want to talk to keeps ringing your phone and you have your ringtone on you have your sound on and eventually you just start to hate your ringtone you start to hate that song <laughs> you know and it almost becomes a thing where it's like uh like i just hate you know it even becomes a thing i don't know what it's called but it's like even when it's silent you hear it you know what i mean like that's how bad it is like 
it's it's crazy because like when you when you finally get the silence you think you hear it because you always heard it 24 7 you know so the crazy thing is right now it's 1 30 a.m and they stopped i'm gonna guess like an hour or so ago and the crazy thing is the crazy thing is you don't know who it is anymore because now the there's this lady around the corner that blasts music and you can hear it because she's on the edge of the street and then there's the next door neighbor so you got both of them competing damn near trying to be the loudest house and it's like bro like i just don't understand like do people just not chill and take in the quiet anymore you know like that's what it feels like to me but i guess sometimes i think it's just me but then i see experiences other people's experiences and it just has me like yo like I'm not the only one, you know, I'm not the only one dealing with this shit. So, I don't know, like, crazy thing is, like, when I came back from my trip, like I said, like, I didn't care that it was new neighbors, like, like, my family was telling me, like, yeah, there's new neighbors in there, and I'm like, all right, I don't want nothing to do with them, and they not going to talk to me, so, you know what I mean? And then it's almost like they kind of forcefully insert themselves into your life. <laughs> Not physically, like, oh, I'm breaking into your home or something like that. It's, it's, it's just like, yo, you're you're including yourself into my piece. And I, I don't want that. Like, please exit. Please find the nearest exit. You know what I mean? Sorry, my phone is going off. But I just personally just feel like it's too much. Like, eventually, like, I know it can't happen forever. You know what I mean? But why while we're here, while we're living here, we have to just deal? You know what I mean? Like, and then it's around the holidays. So you would think, like, okay, peace and quiet, peace and serenity, you know what I mean? I want to go into like more detail of what else is like going on but there's this one piece I can say like it makes it worse because their windows are open and I don't know why like it's damn near winter is it is winter like so I don't know you know what I mean like I don't know I don't understand because of course there are people that keep their ac acs in during the winter because i've done it but because you blast music take it out you know what i mean and i know i kind of like contradicted myself right there (laughs) like you just said it's damn it's it's winter and you had your ac in now that was just because my ac was heavy and i was scared as hell that i was going to drop it out the window (laughs) And and mind you, I was very cold that winter. (laughs) But yeah, like, I just don't get it, you know? But I I guess um, maybe it's something I'm missing. Maybe I'm just a square. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I'm legit a square. That scared the shit out of me. My my computer went like, (laughs) do-do. But yeah, like, maybe I'm just a square. It's very possible you know what i'm saying like maybe this is just some cool shit that i just i i'm just not a part of you know what i mean but i legit i just don't like noise i don't like tedious shit i don't like things that doesn't make sense i don't like things where i have to question like why are you doing this like what is this about like are you just trying to annoy us like it almost feels like with people that blast music they they it's almost like they're trying to get a reaction 
because I've, I've seen that before like some people legit do things just to get a reaction it's like the same thing with internet trolls like if you react to them that's exactly what they want like nah I personally don't understand their their angle I don't know what exactly they're trying to get out of this but all I know is it's it's it can't last forever that's all I know like even for y'all like if you're dealing with this situation it can't last forever it can't you know what I mean eventually <clears throat> it's gonna stop either they get kicked out maybe you do have a good landlord uh either um maybe you're gonna do something i would hope not though because that can lead to some really scary things um but i guess for the most part for just all in all um things can get better things will get better um in time i try to tell myself that a lot but sometimes it's hard to take your own advice like hey relax it'll get better but <laughs> when you have no patience you're just like holy shit like if this doesn't stop now bro like I just hate that I have to wait until nighttime to get that piece because that's when I you know I'm asleep anyway you know what I mean but of course I wouldn't want them blasting music while I'm trying to sleep but it's like can't I just have daytime well you know the whole day the whole week the whole month just quiet you know what I'm saying like just yo like go on vacation bro like maybe that's what you need they'll they'll allow you to play music there because they won't give a flying flip <laughs> but here you're in between neighbors like you gotta chill you know what I mean like you're doing too much basically like you gotta chill but that's just how i see it but y'all let me know what y'all think um but the piece of advice i do want to give to end this is just hold on a little longer because that situation that you're in a situation that you're dealing with right now is not going to be here forever it's not going to be there forever and eventually you're going to be free from all the bullshit and you're going to be living your life living it up doing you and being happy and all that like i know it may be hard to believe now but i know it'll get better and i know i should listen to this back for myself quite honestly so yeah but thank y'all for listening. I was about to say thank y'all for watching. I'm, I'm used to that. But thank y'all for listening. Um, don't be anybody's headache, bro. Like, if you're one of those people that blast music just to get under people's skin, like, please stop. Like, eventually it's time to grow up. Eventually it's time to stop. Like, think about somebody else. Think about the next person. You know? it's, it's becoming too much for a lot of us. With everything going on, bro, like... Just chill. It's, it's time to chill. Like, we don't need more problems on top of problems on top of problems. Enough is enough. All right? Think about your neighbor. Think about your friend. Think about your family. Think about whatever you're doing that may be hurting others. Just just think about it and just stop, you know? Just, just relax. So, that's all I got to say. Um... I just hope that things does get better for everyone, for all of us that's dealing with anything, really. Like, I know my situation is mediocre compared to a lot of, well, anybody's situation. So, all I want to say is it'll get better. It'll definitely get better. And if you want to share your stories down in the comments or you know, send me a DM on Instagram regarding the situation or post a story and just tag me in it. I would love that. I, I love listening to what y'all got to say and 
when I post it on Instagram, I do love when y'all uh, watch it and DM me. Like, I love that a lot. So, I would love to hear what y'all got to say. Um, but thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you for... Um, I posted my new intro on... Um, on Facebook, Instagram. Um, I did post it on TikTok, but I took it off because I don't really like TikTok like that. But um, I'm really glad that y'all liked it. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I really appreciate the support. Like, we really, we really getting up there slowly but surely. We getting up there, and soon, you know. Just as a community, we'll be further ahead in the game, you know what I'm saying? So, but, um, yeah, peace and love. See you next time.